Oxygen with Loki MMA on our Josh Friend. We return to action October 29th against Trey Sean Gore. Josh, how are you? I'm doing well, man. Doing well. Just got done with uh, the crazy fights that happened today. And then uh, just chilling for the rest of the night. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm very happy to be talking with you again. Um, one week out. How are you feeling? Oh, man. I feel amazing. Uh, I'm healthy. I'm in shape. I feel great. No injuries, nothing. You know, my shoulder's not dislocating 100 times during camp. Uh, but yeah, I feel great, dude. Seven days out. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, before we get to anything about fighting the Steelers, bro, talk to me, uh, before the season, <laughs> before the season, you won me with Aquino. We're on a one game winning streak. I don't know what you're talking about, man. We just won our last game. We're going into, uh, Miami now. We're going to go win that game. It's going to be rolling downhill now. And, you know, Kenny Pickett's a savior. Mitch Trubisky came in and he played lights out. If they trade Claypool, they're crazy. You think they're going to trade him? <laughs> Man, I keep <clears throat> I keep hearing a lot about it. And I know Green Bay's looking for a receiver. I just think that I, I'm, I'm a little biased because I'm a fan, but uh, I think that he has a lot of upside. And just because he's had a couple – he had a couple years of, you know, inconsistency, and this year he's not doing well, but he showed flashes in the last game that, you know, he could be that guy. So I don't think you trade him right away. As a, dep- as a depressed Steeler fan right now, fill me with some more optimism. How, 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 how are we going to get through this, this season? TJ Watts coming back, baby. He's coming back. Friar Muth is okay. His he passed concussion protocol. Kenny Pickett and Friar Muth have a great relationship. I think that those guys are going to be unstoppable here soon. Uh, once TJ Watt gets back, the defense is going to just go up tenfold. You got Mink, Vince Patrick in the back, like just making plays nonstop. Uh, what's his face? Hightower is just having a phenomenal year. I think that, you know, once Watt comes back, if we can win one or two more games before he comes back, then I think we're, you know, we're in it. We have a shot of making the playoffs. I'm not saying we're going to go far in them, but we could make them. All right. God damn it. You just, you just did it again. You, I sold it. I sold you. (laughs) You sold me again. You sold me again. God damn it. Uh, All right. All right. Fine. Whatever. I'll, (laughs) <laughs> let's let's pick up this conversation like in a couple weeks um man all right so uh your ufc debut what'd you learn from that fight oh man i learned that uh which i always believed in myself but i learned that you know when the going gets tough i'm not quitting you know uh i learned that i can hang with some of the best on short notice that i wasn't prepared for and you know i think that I think that I just need to go out and prove a little bit more, but I learned that I belong here. Looking back at it. And now that you've had some time, do you, do you regret taking it on short notice or? Nah, nah, no regrets, no regrets because I think that I got super lucky in how it happened for me in a sense, because I know a lot of people who don't get to fight in front of crowds. And my very first UFC fight was in front of a crowd. I was on ESPN. People were like watching me on TV, friends and family. Like they didn't even have to use the app. They were literally on the television and my grandparents were able to like just click the TV and watch me. So no, I I don't regret taking it on short notice. I don't regret that opportunity at all. Um, I do wish that, you know, the result was different, but you know, the experience itself was pretty much everything I've been dreaming of since I was a kid. Yeah. You're known for having very, very good cardio. Were you just surprised at how, like, how, what Fluffy's made of? Like, that dude just does not stop. I wasn't surprised. I mean, the guy's a dog. And uh, I think that he is, you know, he's going to win a couple more fights for sure. And I think he's going to put it on some people. But, I mean, that wasn't my best cardio personally. So, I won't take anything away from him. He had a great job. Um, but yeah, no, I wasn't surprised. He's, he's a dog. 
Um, like you said, you're you, you got the UFC experience with fans. Some fighters still haven't gotten that yet. Um, I mean, how was that? No, oh, uh, I I did a podcast last night with a guy and I explained it pretty decent. Like, uh, it was just a, it was everything I've ever wanted. Uh, I got to live out my dream. Uh, I remember since a kid, I was watching the UFC and I watched people walk out. And even the past couple of years, I would watch people walk out to Bob O'Reilly and just dream of that day. And I would sit and I'd vision me looking out to a, an arena. I mean, the arena was pretty decently packed by my fight. And like, I got to experience everything. I got to walk out to Tupac. Like it's the same song I've been walking out since I was, I started. So it was just everything was awesome besides the result. Awesome, awesome. Um, all right, well, let's talk about it, man. Uh, Trajan Gore, you were supposed to fight in July. I believe it was the first time you've ever pulled out of a fight, correct? Correct. Um, how disappointed were you? Uh, I was pretty disappointed. You know, um, I was pretty excited that I got uh, offered the fight almost immediately after I just lost the fight. So uh, just knowing that I must have sparked someone's interest and they wanted to see me fight again was pretty cool. Um, I was bummed I had to pull out because I never, like, I never pull out. Like, so it's just, it was bum, but it is what it is. We're past it. We're healthy and we're good to go. You said that you're fully um, healthy. Can, can you uh, reveal that injury yet or is it still being hush hush? I don't think I ever, maybe when I retire, I don't like giving out my injuries I really don't um I'm not saying that people are like oh they'll target or anything I just I keep stuff close to the vest so I don't think I'll ever say it no gotcha gotcha um thought well why do you think the UFC has kept this matchup together uh I don't know uh I didn't really think that after Cody went out and fought him that I would get the opportunity again but they did offer me it again. I said, yes, obviously he said yes. So uh, here we are. Um, I don't know. I guess when you look at it from matchup perspective that he is uh, coming off a loss, he's 0-2, I believe in the UFC now, and I'm 0-1 coming off a loss. And I mean, that's just usually how it goes, right? Two guys coming off a win fight, two guys coming off a loss fight. And uh, it's generally how it goes. So yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, what are your thoughts on the matchup? I'm sure you've ha ha have trained for him for, for a minute, right? You were plan you were planning on fighting him in July. You've trained with Cody a lot. So you so he fought him. So I'm sure Trey Shangor is not a new <laughs> a new name to you. No, I mean name name is whatever, face is whatever. It's more of just a body type and a stylistic uh matchup for me. Like I fought a lot of guys his style I fought a lot of guys his size and you know I've been training with Rob Wilkinson for the last couple months and so I'm used to heavy heavy hitters so that's not something that's going to concern me it's just you know got to stay on my p's and q's what are your thoughts on this like do you feel like him being in the U.S. like do you feel him being in the UFC is a disservice just because of how little experience he has compared to someone like you who you've you busted your ass in the regional scene for so long and had a long amateur career to get to here and he's he's in the UFC with he I think he had two fights or one fight when he got into the UFC like what are your thoughts on that uh it is what it is you know yeah I uh I took a long time to get here and I did it the hard way I'm not saying that he had anything handed to him by any means you know it's just the name of the game you you know the right people you're in the right scenario you win, win the right fight with the right set of eyes on you and then you get a chance so I mean it's a game and if you know the right people and you play the game correctly then you can you can do pretty much anything okay, okay. um at the end of the day October 29th next Saturday how do you get your hand raised I get my hand raised, hand, hand raised. Wow, let me see that. Rewind. I get my hand raised by absolutely mentally breaking Treshawn Gore and getting a finish. And uh, Factory X going 2-0 over him? 2-0. 2-0.
2-0 and and 2-0 and on the night because Dustin Dahanyak Jacoby is going to just absolutely murder his opponent and he's going to be shot rock, just rocketed up the rankings. I mean, you kind of already took my next talking point. Uh, how, <laughs> how is, uh, are you excited to be fighting with Dustin? Yes. Yeah, Dustin's an awesome training partner and to be able to share fight week with him and see how a real vet does it, uh, see how another real vet, because I did get to share my last uh, fight with Vince Pichelle, and that guy's an awesome dude. Uh, but get to, getting to see how DJ does it, that's going to be really cool. And the guy just exudes confidence. So it's going to be a fun week. I know that. Awesome. Awesome. And then finally, your fight on the main card. Um, your first fight, you're fight, fight in front of uh, fans, ESPN uh, on ESPN. Now you're on the main card. What's that mean to you? Uh, I'm not putting it. It's cool. I'm not putting any pressure on it because, you know, I just got to go out there and perform. I got to win. Nothing else matters. There's no any, there's really nothing else in my head except winning. I I don't care. I'd be the first, the last, the middle. doesn't matter to me. I need to go out there and get a win. And then that's, that's it. And, and, uh, some fighters feel this way. And I just want to know your opinion. Do you, do you feel like, do you feel like a UFC fighter or do you have to get that first win to really like feel it, feel it? Oh, I said it every time. I still don't feel like a UFC fighter. I have to get a win, and then then we can talk about it. Gotcha. Awesome. Josh, thank you so much for your time, man. I really appreciate it. If you want to plug your social media, plug any sponsors, you want to thank anybody, the floor is yours. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, uh, you can follow me at Josh Fem MMA on Instagram. Josh from MMA on TikTok, Twitter, all that good stuff. I suck at TikTok, so I don't even know why I said that. But uh, shout out Eddie Holmes for uh, being an awesome sponsor and always being with me since my amateur days. Uh, they are awesome. Go ahead and check them out. Make sure to subscribe to the Low Kick MMA YouTube channel for all the latest news, event previews, and interviews with some of the biggest stars in MMA.